Welcome to AFAC's number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now, family has its own challenges, and yesterday was a big day for Madame Boss Akothe, and many thought that her sister Sebi Cox would be there. This is because Madame Boss had hinted that the only people who will not be attending her wedding are her two sons, and they felt that an invite was extended to Sebi Cox, and she would be there. When Madame Boss' daughter Fancy Macadia landed from France to the country to attend her mother's wedding, Madame Boss made it clear that her two sons, Prince Ojuang and Prince Oyo, will not make it to the wedding. Reason being her boys could not make it due to school, but they will be witnessing the second ceremony that will be held in Switzerland. But it seems Madame Boss knew that some people will try and bring the family uh, politics to her wedding. And she put out, don't bring propaganda and family politics to my wedding. The only people who will miss my wedding are my two sons who will not make it because of school rules. But they will witness which is scheduled to take place on July 10th, all year Akos is getting married. And that right there is what indicated to many that she had extended an invite to her sister. Whether she did or not, her sister did not make it. And so despite Madame Bosa Kothe and her sister having their own family feud, Akothe's daughters have always supported their aunt Sebi Cox. And it seems Madame Bosa Kothe also lets them be to make their own decision and not involve themselves within their drama. They attended their aunt's traditional wedding, her bridal party. You could see them posting. They were so happy for their aunt and they were posting it on their timelines. Definitely their mother was seeing all that. And at least that is a level of maturity where they don't involve other people within their dramas. Well, Madame Bosakote also skipped Sebi Cox's wedding, but this has also showed how deep this sister feud is. No one could just set the differences aside to be there for a very special moment. Weddings don't happen every day, but it will be really sad that they would be forced to attend something that involves them, whether even somebody has passed away, God forbid. And maybe that is the time that somebody wishes time was on their side that they will say just that one word or even just forgive. But sometimes it's too late. Sebi Cox and Madame Boss Akothe's feud is something that we have a little bit of an idea online. We remember Madame Boss came out on social media and she spoke deeply about the hurt that she has experienced within her family. Last year in October, Madame Boss opened up about that particular feud with her sister Sebi Cox and she announced that she will not be attending any events that involves her sister and that people should not expect her to see her at her sister's wedding as well. And so Madame Boss Akothe blamed also the family for not intervening and helping them solve their issues. She had put out this landed on my table that broke me but didn't kill me. Again, no one reached out a hand. I was left to fight alone. Again, as the eldest of them, things were forced down my throat. I accepted being big until I was reduced to a doormat. And for those who have been following Madame Boss and Akothe, something that angered many people, or rather even Akothe's fans, was some screenshots that circulated on social media when it came to her sister discussing about Madame Boss Akothe with someone else. You do know what happened at the Tea Masters. That is Edgar Obare's profile. I think at that time it was on Instagram. And the things that her sister allegedly spoke about Madame Boss Akothe, one thing was faking depression about the Akothe Foundation. A lot of things were said about Madame Boss Akothe. And it was very hurtful. And netizens were also not happy about it. And there was one day that Madame Boss went on her stories and she did a whole rant. She was angry. She spoke about this. She hinted about this and you could see that she was affected by what was put out. I haven't said she's evil, but I packed my bags out of our relationship. I battled depression for almost six months and I almost lost it. So I did not want to see myself in that situation. When I was cutting off the people who I felt well, or maybe I'm the toxic one. So me, for me being toxic, I packed my bags. I left. So when I've left, leave me alone. It was a coincidence that we met suitors at the same time. If I was my mother, I would be so happy. Well, I have one wedding this coming December, and I have another one coming in next year. 
I would be a proud mother. I would be so happy. I didn't see the pro Maybe I am mad and that's why I didn't see the problem. And that we met suitors at the same time. Catch up. Anyway, let's get into it. Abe said she's evil, but I packed my bags out of our relationship. I battled depression for almost six months and I almost lost it. So I did not want to see myself in that situation. When I was cutting off the people who I felt were, or maybe I'm the toxic one. So me, for me being toxic, I packed my bags. I left. So when I've left, leave me alone. It was a coincidence that we met suitors at the same time. If I was my mother, I would be so happy. Well, I have one wedding this coming December and I have another one coming in next year. I would be a proud mother. I would be so happy. I didn't see the pro Maybe I am mad and that's why I didn't see the problem. Maybe I am mad. Sorry guys for putting you through this. That is exactly what happened and it didn't land well. It did not really land well. I pray and ask to each and every family that please make peace with your relatives. Stop this drama. There is only one family. Guys, again, message landed on my table that my younger sister said um, that I don't defend her when you people are attacking her. Please. I am human. I do not know why, how I should defend my younger sister. I do not know. She's the one who was gossiping me about me somewhere, what reasons I don't know. Then this thing went viral. Internet, 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 internet. Please delete this thing. She was lying. She accepted she was lying. Now delete it. It is not her. Today I have asked for forgiveness on her behalf. Yawa weya uru. Weya uru. Asayo u. Asayo u. Weya uru. Don't drag my younger sister on my wall. Don't go and attack Nelly Yorks. Please leave these people to live their lives. Please, please, please allow me also live my life. Asayo u. We are having another event in December, which I'm also happy about. I'm so happy. I am so happy from the bottom of my heart. I mean well. The only thing is, I was not going to go to that wedding anyway, because me and my younger sister have, we have not been in good terms since a year now. Maybe you do not know. I packed my bags and left this relationship on the 31st of December. It hurts me, I know. But I keep it there. And please, fans, do not drag my younger sister onto my wall. I beg you. I beg you from the bottom of my heart. Do not. It is not good. It is not fair. When she's doing good, support her in her wall. Please. <laughs> Na mimi sitaki kukasiri kukosana na nyinyi. Leo ilikuwa ni siku ya masomo nimenyamaza siku nyingi sana. But mtu asinichokore, aende ajiibishe huko social media, alafu akuje kuni force ku ku kumtetea. Mimi hakuna mtu anitetea. Mimi sitaki mtu anitetea online. Online ni mimi. Mimi ndio huenda kuchokora watu huko. Samage yanya wekuru yale oge. I don't want my family to, to defend me online. They are defending me why? Why is my family pretending to defend me online and offline? Get so called Lunda Magiso, get so nuts. Or Lunda get so nuts, ma. Samatin, Ivide, 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 Ivide. Huh? Kasna Kot Janeko, a Kot Janeko, Ule Mulan Kaneko. And so that was Madame Boss Akothe's stand when it comes to her sister. That is just about four, five months ago, just before Sibi Cox did her traditional wedding. And so you get to hear Madame Boss put out that she wishes her sister well. But I think where this relationship has reached right now, it is love, yes, but we love each other at far, respecting each other's boundaries. We are not in each other's business. But she said one important thing. 
is that it hurts her. This situation hurts her. And I believe that is also the same for Sebi Cox as they were very close with Madame Boss Akothe and missing their special days. Getting to watch all that on social media just like any other stranger must be truly hurtful. We hope that one day this family feud will come to an end before it is too late and maybe the family can be more supportive not taking sides to support the two sisters towards the path of reconciliation. And of course we can see the family is supporting each of the sisters individually. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be able to see Madame Bosa Kote and her sister Sebi Cox together, but these special moments in their lives have already passed. These ones cannot be replayed again and those are memories missed. Wrap today, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't for this and more updates. Turn that notification bell so you're notified once you have any new uploads. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.